All right, so if you're watching this, this probably means that you would like to have a little bit of extra help with the math in the practice for speed and velocity equations. So here's the original uh, slide that I had with all of the different uh, questions on it. And you've got some space on your paper that doesn't exist on this slide. So I'm actually going to make some blank slides and have plenty of room to work out each of these problems. So the first question says, a cyclist travels 32 kilometers in two hours. We want to know what his speed is. So just as we've done um, in the past, we always write out the formula first. So we'll have speed is equal to distance divided by time. And again, we're looking for speed. So we're going to go ahead and start out by saying S equals. Um, when you're reading that first sentence, it says 32 kilometers in two hours. So we have to decide what the distance would be. Well, distance deals with meters. In this case, we've got 32 km or kilometers as our number. So we're going to put 32 at the top. And we need to look at the time. Hopefully you understand right now that the time is 2 hours. So all you have to do is 32 divided by 2. And you should find that it would be 16. And then here's where we come up with our unit. Now in our notes, it said that typically we'll see meters per second. But this time we've got kilometers and we've also got hours and these things are being divided so this is how we get this unit that's called kilometers per hour so this is saying that every hour I'm gonna go 16 kilometers so it makes sense that after two whole hours we've gone 32 kilometers okay so this should be our answer for the first one second question says a car travels 300 miles in five hours we want to know the speed the car is traveling so again we're going to start out with our speed equation. I want to choose a different color this time. Yay! Switch it up a little bit. So again, we've got speed is equal to distance over time. This time our distance is 300 miles. And I'm going to write out the word. You don't need to write out the word, but I will just so we can keep track of our units. Finally, our time that we're putting at the bottom is 5 hours. Okay, so let's look at these numbers here. 300 divided by 5. When you figure that out, it should be 60. And then here gives us our unit, miles per hour. We'll put mi so we understand the difference between miles and meters when we're abbreviating it. Or you could simply put 60 mph because that's how we abbreviate it here in America. All right, third practice problem for speed. So we've got speed equals distance over time. It says an insect travels 15 inches in three seconds. We want to find its speed. So we've got speed is what we're looking for. Our distance here is 15 inches. Again, you don't have to write the word I am just so we can have a visual for what we're using in our units for. And then it says three seconds is how much time it takes. Okay, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and we're using inches per second as our unit. Okay, hopefully that you're getting this. Now we're going to work with velocity formula. We'll just do a little bit more in terms of uh, what we've got with the direction. So this time it says a car travels 15 meters eastward in 3 seconds. We want to know velocity. So again, velocity is distance divided by time very much the way speed is distance divided by time this time though we have to remember we include a direction so our distance here is 15 meters and our time is in three seconds and we also need to make sure we include the direction here so we know it's east that doesn't really look like an e but I promise it is so 15 divided by 3 is 5, and we're using meters per second, and have to remember to put east at the end for our answer. All right, you with me? Hopefully you are. Last one. A bus travels 350 miles north from Virginia to Maryland in 7 hours. We want to know what is the velocity. So we got V equals D over T. And we have to remember our direction. Distance is 350 miles. 
Our time is seven hours. And this is from Virginia to Maryland. So here's a little bit about geography. You've got to know where we are in Virginia in relation to Maryland. Hopefully you know that Maryland is north of us. So we'll go ahead and put a big N for north. All right, so 350 divided by 7. You should find that that would be 50. And then miles per hour north. So hopefully through these problems, you can see that the main difference between speed and velocity is that speed does not include a direction, but velocity does. So it's a little more detailed with how fast something is going and where it's going. If you have any questions or if you're a little confused even after this video, please make sure that you make a little note of what you're confused about so that way in class tomorrow when we're doing some more practice with this, you can remember to ask me about it or ask your group members. Um, otherwise, be ready to come in and finish the lab and I'll see you then.